Welcome to TSL Nigeria TV. Welcome to TSL On The Go. My name is Lois Bello. We're wishing you a happy new month and happy independence. Happy, happy new month, guys. Thank you for joining us. First of October 2021. Happy 61st independence anniversary to our great country, Nigeria. This is TSL On The Go. We have hot gist for you today. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after the break. I am Uzeizi Udwefe Ideho. Welcome back. September has really been a month to remember <laughs> with a lot of buzz buzz <laughs> on the internet. Yes. Right. First off, for today's gist, the Federal Executive Council has approved the 14 day paternity leave for male civil servants in the country. I still have a very big God <laughs> who is always by my side. I know somebody that was a very, very happy. <laughs> God by my side, by my side. Yes, 14 days leave, paternity leave has been approved by FEC. What an amazing news for intending fathers. You know, this is my question about these things. Like, ah, but we did the work together. Can't we rest together? I mean, but it's just 14 days anyway. But, but my question now is, will Nigerian fathers stay at home? They have to. You have to, sir. You have to, you don't have any excuse. You have to stay for 14 days. They will still pay you salary now. Mm -hmm. But it's for federal civil servants too. If you're working in a private firm, <laughs> I don't know about you. For federal civil servants, so kudos to Fed, for Fed, to Fed rather, who has given this approval for 14 days for fathers. It says it's going to help the father and the children, or the to child, bond. to bond with each other. It's very important as well. So we play with you. I think fathers, fathers should rest too. too. Fathers, fathers are always working. So take your time out to rest, relax with your baby, relax with your wife get to enjoy the new experience and just flex yourself yeah this is a step in the right direction I and i hope our fathers will actually stay at home to bond with the babies and with the mother moving on on a sad note this is on a sad note uh, the husband to late professor dora akuili the former dg of nafta mm. has been reported dead dr chike was reported to have been shot in Anambra State when he went to receive an award on behalf of his wife. A lot, a lot has been happening in the eastern part of Nigeria and it's getting me really, really worried. We have to stay at some order to begin. We put on go out on Mondays and some other days, I think, to have extended to two days now. Now this, right? I mean, like, yeah. what, what, did this, what did this family do to you people? Okay, people, what have they done? news have it that the indigenous people of Biafra killed him, but they have also come out to say they yeah, do not have yeah. a hand. They said they did not. They said they did not. It was just political rivalry and they're trying to blackmail them so that they could be um, painted back to society and they had no hand in his death. But, I mean, give or take, a man is dead and is gone. And I just pray that, that whoever was involved in this and whoever really just masterminded this deadly acts will be caught and brought to books because you've put that the, the, the father tried to sell them the mother first tried to sell nigeria and life was good the yeah, father now the same father. thing i mean i mean and i don't think children will even want to come back to nigeria for me if i was the adopter or maybe family member just Japa. there's nobody to come back to just you know, have okay our heart goes out to the family so anyway goes out to yeah. the family moving on ah uzizi mm. uzizi tell them tell them okay on the foreign scene, Robert Sylvester, popularly known as R. Kelly, has been convicted for, he has been found guilty for sexual abuse, and he might be facing life imprisonment sentence. This term is not over at all. Like, like, this term, this term <laughs> okay, has, it seems this term no, just got started. This term just got started for R. Kelly. You know, when we most of the flying out about is acts with children, not just girls now, boys, boys women, men, women. Every, everything. Eric Kelly, you do, Sha, if you, you really did this, then I mean, like, it was sad because Eric Kelly was a living, he's a living icon before all this rubbish started happening and the news started flying out. But the truth is, it just goes to show that no matter how famous you are, no matter how popular you are, no matter how good or how talented you are, if that's small. The Bible says that these little foxes that spoil divine. Yes. It really just happened, and now to think that he's going to face life in imprisonment. What people say to say 10 years or 15 years, 15 years. life, life. America, mm -hmm. you did so much. We grew up to know you that you know you're a good singer and all sorts, but and I really it's all love gone. his music, but so, it's all gone. So we can actually get to that thing, but if we do not have a good character, we might not be able to. That's the truth. Him. That's the truth. Yeah, okay. Lastly, on today and on entertainment, um, our popular comedian 
Chinedu, popularly known as Nedu, Nedu, has come out to say that he did not forcefully take his children from his wife, but contrary to that, she actually handed them to him yeah. on her own free will. And she has also come out to say that she did it out of duress. So why would you say the children were forcefully taken from you if... I don't know. Please forgive me, but I think that his wife is. I don't know. I don't know. Something is not just really very okay, right? Because she says something and we keeps quiet. After a while, she tries to raise dust and raise dust. Then we come up with evidence to say, "Madam, yeah, this he is Yeah, he actually has evidence. He understand? has receipt. He has um, tickets and, for her and now, travel. And now you and said. Everything. And now you said that oh. In the were forcibly taken from you, but you actually wrote handwritten statements and she at the police it. station, and you stand and you're handing over your kids to the father because, because she can't pay. Yeah, rent. because she was staying with her mom. They can't pay the rent. So what's what's the big? The, what's she looking for? My my it question is, said what she. is she looking for? What's she trying to achieve with all of this bus bus here and this? See, September has ended. Do I like it ended all these things? Okay, Don't come as well October for us, please. Epic, epic. <laughs> okay, I think that's the much we can take on this weekend's episode of TSL On The Go. Thank you for joining us, but do not forget to follow us across all our social media platforms on Facebook, on Instagram, and on YouTube at TSL Nigeria TV. My name is Lois Bello. I am Jose Isidway for Enjoy October. Live your lives to the fullest. Have fun. Bye. Stay connected to TSL Nigeria and get updates on the go all day, every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel on TSL Nigeria Space TV and join our online family.